any historical army. Wow. The Waffen SS, but skeletons. Is that who you want to play? That's a historical army, right? Is that better or worse than just playing them straight? <sighs> I think it's better. I think it's slightly better. My gut, my gut instinct says better, <laughs> but it's not a hill I'm going to die on. <laughs> no, I haven't thought it all the way through. I, I don't think the Wolf and SS are ever on a hill I'm willing to die on. <laughs> no. I what myself am well. <laughs> <laughs> the cock cannon got me. We're the techless of Manfred. <laughs> Fuck. These guys. Right. And no one else. Okay. <laughs> Got some Pikachus. Pikachu. I did some Warhammers over no the way. weekend. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the heck? Look at this. Boo! That's a Warhammer. I did a combat patrol against That's my friend's sisters. And um pretty fun and pretty quick. We had we had a good time. Yeah, I wanna try try some combat patrol. I think it sounds fun. It was easy to remember. Just had a couple of sheets to like look at. Good way to learn new rules. Shame on those unpainted models though. I know, he's only just got them. Yeah. He's already done one squad in like a couple of weeks, so he's doing all right. Yeah. And then we did another combat patrol with my Typhus and his stinky boys. Stinky boys. Fighting against the same sisters. And um, this was a fun. We had a nice, nice little narrative here. Typhus had turned up and turned the whole congregation into zombies. The sisters had to break through and purge and like burn down the cathedral that was full of stink. Oh. Um, but the, um, this came down to like... We just wiped each other out so hard. Mm -hmm. um, Typhus was basically the, all that was left. And he just had his cannoness in her sister's squad. Everything else was dead. And he's just like, ha, ha, ha. My man reaper will make short work of you. And charged across the board, ready to just reap hard. Sisters overwatch him. And um, turns out sister's pretty good on overwatch because cannoness gives them rerolls. So six to hit, roll again. Took off four of his six wounds. Oh my god. With the overwatch. <laughs> he runs in, wounds eight of them with his man reaper. Jeez. He makes seven invulnerable saves. <laughs> At which point the cannoness is just like, I am no man. And <laughs> the last two wounds gives him, to him. The, uh, the classic, uh, I am no man. Yeah, he just gets fucking witch kinged. Holy moly's. Uh, so what happened on Mudworld? Oh, um, so who do you think won? Well, I was going to... I assumed Space Marines were going to win. Because they always win. Um, but apparently, Tyranids are winning. Um, but ultimately, I've never fucking heard of Ogrum. No, oh, Mudworld. And I don't think it matters. Oh, it's going to be... Very important. Yeah, it's going to change the law. Even bigger than Psychic Awakening. It will be as big as Psychic <laughs> Awakening, at least. And that was supposed to be bigger than the Horus Heresy. Yeah. Do you remember when they really hyped the shit out of Psychic and then Awakening? Nothing, nothing happened. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, you know, what people are like, uh, Kadia stands, you know, everyone remembers that. Um, Oh, the Siege of Terror. Mm. Really big. Um, oh my god, Armageddon, one, two, or three. Mm. The battle for Ogrim is going to be way up there. Up there with all the classics. All the classics. Everyone's going to remember Ogrim. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> it's Mudworld, what more do you need? I made up the thing that it's Mudworld. <laughs> Without that, it's got nothing. <laughs> Mudworld is very important. We've literally doubled its rich lore. And then lastly, I saw these screenshots for like this Lucius the Eternal that kind of had me intrigued. I haven't watched it because I'm not on Warhammer Plus. But it did get me thinking about old Lucius. Like the peerless duelist. Yeah. He's the best. The best duelist what there never was. Well, not the best. But because his thing is that if you beat him, you, he becomes you. Mm -hmm. It means he basically ends up losing every duel he's ever been in because that's his thing when you write a story about him. You want him to do his thing. Well, you, you, or you talk about in like a story, like he just won 5,000 jewels in a row because he's the best, but this one jewel in this story, he <laughs> yeah. is going to lose. <laughs> Lucius the Eternal is, he's like a fun character in the lore, but yeah. you can't, you can't look too hard at him. No, you, I don't think you really want to make him the main character of anything. You want him no. in the background being a goofball while you tell a normal story <laughs> and yeah. he happens to be involved somehow. Because there's, there's a lot of problems with his power. 
Yeah. Is he just one day going to run into like a super depressed guy who feels no joy or accomplishment from anything? No, and that's the end. That I don't think even that is enough. Because isn't there a thing where and he was killed by a Necron and turned into the Necron? It's like, well, they're fucking soulless oh. robots, but that. Oh, so there's no pride and sense of accomplishment. It's all just. But it's just automatic now, is it? Something along those lines. Um, and the thing where he stepped on the mine and then turned into the guy in the munitions factory. Yeah, I like that, how stupid that one was. Th but that one suddenly opens up <laughs> huge problems. Because yeah. there could be, what if you have someone, I'm a, I'm a you know, the Emperor's champion, mm -hmm. right? Um, and me killing this chaos guy, it, I, don't, I don't take as much pride in it. It's like a burden. Oh, oh this is yeah. my, yeah, my duty. But the guy who made that sword, mm. they're like, I am the fucking best at making swords. I love that yeah. my swords he's, kill people. He's literally a master craftsman. Yeah. Right? And they love their work. <laughs> who should get, who does mm. Lucius turn into then? Emperor's oh. champion or sword guy? Because if I, if you shoot him, mm. then it, it's me that does it. So should we, the guy who planted the mine mm. should have turned into Lucius, well, maybe, not the guy that made them. I think it's like the line of succession when a king dies, right? Okay, you track so it. You go to the nearest logical thing, and then if they didn't feel enough joy, you go to the next one okay, until you but, find someone who has enough pride to be possessed. Right, okay, but I feel like you need like a spreadsheet on that. <laughs> oh. Is Slanesh just sat there like with a massive flowchart? So much of Slanesh's time is spent working out <laughs> yeah. how Lucius, who they are going to possess. Feels like it should be a Zinch thing at this point. It's so convoluted. Oh my god, maybe it is. Maybe it all was a plan Ooh. of Zinch. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Pearl Guard Man. Is that Creed? He's yeah. Got pistols. He's, he's lost his jacket. Oh, it's Creed in uh, oh. Trays in the Infinite's collection. Of course it is, because that's because he hasn't got his jacket, because his daughter's got that it. That was left behind. And he's in a display pith in near mint condition. <laughs> Very cool. I'm into that. <laughs> that is fun. Uh, that's pretty rad. Wow, it's, that is one of the most niche miniatures. Is well, I guess like you can <laughs> just build <laughs> him. Uh, oh, now I want to build like a kill team board of like it's oh it's Solomon's Raisin's vault. Yeah, you know, and you just have like every room in the boarding That's party. That's such a thing. fucking cool idea. It's a different exhibit. Doing fucking a night at the museum. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God, that is such a good plan. <laughs> and you can like every room, you can push a button and like let them out and have like carnage can happen. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got like old one eye in a cabinet, <laughs> and it's yeah. Creed there, and a band of orcs. Um, you could even make them modular so the the stasis tubes like swap out, so it yeah. can be like different stuff every time. That's such a fun idea. Oh, I want to do it. That's really, really good. Should uh, we do that? Yeah. Yeah, because, like, making a little, uh, just, like, tomb board, mm. like, you can easily just have, like, two rooms, like, a little kind of connecto corridor with just some exhibits in each. Uh, man, we should make that. That'd be yeah. fucking great. And then someone's like, boop, I let out this custody. Who like, starts chopping hard, and then the other guy's like, oh, my God, boop, I let out a <laughs> mega spawn. <laughs> oh, my God. But people might go into the, the area with the, uh, you know, the shields, and if you can, like, up the shield, and you're like, <laughs> oh, shit, like, half my squad was in there. <laughs> yeah. And they're all just, like, frozen. Like, he's going to find the... Uh... The turn off stasis button. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, I love it. That's a, such oh. a fucking cool idea. Yes, we'll 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 work this out. We'll make that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I would play that game with you. Oh my god, get the have the exhibit and f free the female space marine. <laughs> she can come out all guns blazing. Oh sweet, that'll get us some comments. That will. Uh, yeah, everyone's really really fucking chill on that subject. You know, nerds. Think of the engagement. <laughs> Think of the engagement, Ben. Yeah, definitely that. Some felonids. Uh, we have to have some felonids. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Sherlock Clouseau. Only uh, one Sherlock Clouseau. That guy, have him there. The teleporting Croco men. Oh, I love that. Crotalids. Oh my god, we could get a Tom and Ben from Old Terror. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> There's two mega nerds are sat at a table. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh my god, that would be so fucking good. Kremlo. Kremlo no, I don't, I don't think uh, Trazen is strong enough to capture a Kremlo. You can get skeletons up the wazoo. There's millions of skeletons in tattered armor. Mm -hmm. So there's very, very few skeleton samurai, skeleton Romans, skeleton Greeks, you know, where they're wearing the full historical armor. Yeah. I guess it's quite niche, right? I would totally do a, a literally any historical army, but it's skeleton. Any historical army? Wow. The Waffen SS, but skeletons. Is that who you want to play? That's a historical army, right? Is that better or worse than just playing them straight? <sighs> <laughs> I think it's better. I think it's slightly better. My gut, my gut instinct says better, <laughs> but... It's not a hill I'm going to die on. <laughs> no, I haven't thought it all the way through. I, I don't think the Wolf of SS are ever on a hill I'm willing to die on. No. <laughs> I'm just going to go out on a limb and say, I'm not going to defend Nazis. I think that's good. <laughs> I think that's great. Call me, call me crazy <laughs> cr contrarian. <laughs> But there's uh, just some lines I'm not going to cross. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Ben with his hot takes <laughs> all of a sudden. Um, okay. Uh, I did like the comment, which was the uh, the S in SS stands for skeleton. It actually just stands for skeleton skeletons. Skeleton soldiers. Uh, skeleton soldiers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, we're playing some football. Football. We got a couple of new ships, Tom. What we do we have? Completed it last week with Stealthy Boy. Mm. So now we can play drone ship, drone Yolon Engi Boy, which has got little piddle laser and attack drones. Fun. Or this guy, who is like a fancy cruise ship that's got lots of crew loving abilities. It has a lot of things. Yeah, it's got like boosted O2, med bay, piloting doors, cameras, all that stuff. Shizzle biz and a shield charge booster. Wild. So it's, I guess this is a bit more of a blank slate. Yeah. That's kind of okay at a lot of different things. Whereas this guy's like a dedicated drone boy. Mm. Harder challenge without things getting too out of hand. Okay, the rebel fleet gets an extra boost. So you get one less planet per system. Renegade bosses are buffed. And take cruisers tribute. Traveling merchants never give gifts. We did get a lot of free stuff. Okay, great. That sounds fun. No guns, mate. What you gonna do? God, the ship feels feels good already. It's very good against things with one shield. Yeah, that's gonna drop off. <laughs> God, but it gets through these fights fucking fast. It really does. Uh, Don't go in a real cheaply made. Uh oh, hmm. we're gonna we're about to lose. Beam Master turned up. <gasps> no, Beam Master. Please. You're too young to be beamed. They've got double beam. So They're the beam master tops. <laughs> what the hell? Just endlessly eye on their O2 until they all die. Oh my god, we could. <laughs> Look, it's getting redder. But it's definitely on because it's just damaged oh, now. Shit. If they didn't have a level 2 O2, we, it might have been possible. It might have been possible. Right. Don't. <laughs> Beam Master. Turns out he was also Air Master. Yeah. So we couldn't. Uh, Hooray! No. Ooh. Heavy Colonel. What is that? Like some kind of nut gun. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. That would be my guess. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the gnome? Oh no. Uh, LT King, thank you for donating. TMB, last week I mentioned that I fought Gene Steeler Cox as Necrons. I lost my Void Dragon to 12 mortal wounds in under two turns and melted a Jackal squad with 30 plus wounds from one immortal Tesla unit on turn one. Wow. Holy shit. 30 wounds from one squad. That's insane. How did you get mortal wounded so bad on your Void Dragon? Because... Team Steeler Cults don't kick out a lot of mortal wounds. I, I do always love that 
that imagery of the Gene Steeler cultist rising up. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, brothers! The day of ascension, and they're getting power drills, like <laughs> yeah. caches of like stolen, just like assault rifles. Mm -hmm. And then they go up and they're fighting a literal eldritch god. <laughs> yeah, from 47 million years ago. And they're like, I'm carrying a lamppost with some concrete. <laughs> That thing's pretty fucking strong. <laughs> yeah. uh, it just seems... And the personification of death comes yeah. <laughs> You're like, in the pamphlets, <laughs> not, not what I signed up for. I mean, I do love the four-armed emperor, but... <laughs> but that thing, real fucking spooky. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> oh, the dirt bikes throw explosives every time they move. Uh, and he had three squads of them. So he just got like mad maxed by 30 dirt bikes. <laughs> All lobbing satchel charges at oh him. Oh my god, that sounds terrifying. Uh, how's the good fight going? Oh, we just dinged. Oh, ding, that's great. Mr. Human has got better at punching other humans. Very good. Oh, we're going to have to come home for a heal, though. Uh, See ya, but also get shot. Ooh, oh, I missed. Too slow. But, get him a little hole. Get in the, uh... Ow! Oh, quit it! Oh, they always lasered him good. Ooh, that was rude. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, hi, hello, howdy, how do you do? Please buy my things. I can't see my family again until I meet my quota. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, you want yeah. some uwu points? We didn't do that last time. What Remember? is uwu? Is that I've where got, the, we get the quest? I've got no idea, but last time we... Did not uwu point. Okay, what is an uwu point? Oh, wow. That's 700 bucks. Stick to three. <laughs> sure. Can't afford that. Uh, by setting up your account, you get one uwu point for free. Every time you visit a hectare marketplace, collect your uwu point before you shop, collect four points, and you'll be entered into our customer reward program. The slug transfers over a uwu point for your account. Now go buy something or get lost. Hey, there are a load of these shops. Do you want to try and do that in this sector? Get all the uwu points. Sure. Uh, yeah, you can chain go to all the, oh, the shops. Oh, man. We're going to max out our uwu card. Do it. Uh, Yogg's Quest fan. Then it's five Ooh, bucks. Hello. Wow. Thank you, Yogg's Quest fan. They say, Torb and Beb, first time donator, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm really here to ask where Yogg's Quest stuff is. Hmm. I know it's hard to get people together, um, but I would willingly donate to a monthly Patreon for Tom DMing a campaign of any system oh. with Ben as a player, please. Wouldn't that be a thing? That'd be crazy if that was a thing. Imagine if someone did that. Wow. Yeah, but people wouldn't, you know, support a thing like that monthly, so it could could be a thing. I bet they would, Tom. I bet if you worked real hard and got all your Yogg's friends to play D&D &D with you, people would want to see that. But I don't know if I'd be playing D&D. &D. We'd be playing, you know, things like Call of Cthulhu, you know, uh, oh, that's Star Wars better. game, you know, some of the Warhammer games. Wow. Morkborg. Like, I, Morkborg could be a great thing. I want to play. see that. When are we playing Morkborg? I don't think you could get a whole range of different Yogg's cast members all turning up. All my and, favorites. And taking part and playing in it. Oh, it's just a dream. Just a stupid, sexy dream. Maybe one day if we're maybe all very good. Maybe if you're very well behaved, then maybe. Um, uh, Not that well behaved, Tom. Yeah, well, we'll see. When they can start being well behaved. Mm-hmm. It might happen. Um, Fingers crossed. Collect your uwu point. Uh, you actually have four points. Ooh. Do you have brain damage? <laughs> Why would you visit so many stores? I don't know. Uh, whatever. Congratulations. Here's a shiny key to the Hectar Mega Market. Something, something will waive all liability or whatever. Uh, they spent some special corners to the Atlas. You can travel there during any jump sector before the Federation capital. Oh. Well, that's exciting. We better save up some more money before we go to the mega store. Yeah. Okay, let's just fucking yump. What do you think we got this? <laughs> we don't got this. 
<laughs> we don't got this at all. Oof. <clears throat> um, let's do Attack! <laughs> that thing looks tougher than the end boss. Yes. By the payload and then just hope we can fix our hull somewhere. <laughs> We're fucked. Ow. Ooh. We was plinked. We got plinked. What the fuck even was that? Asteroid. That's a bad day to be a Tom and Bun. <laughs> oh, we got asteroided. <laughs> Shit. Didn't even need the rock men. Oh, we still live. Oh, we got one boy left in a dream. <laughs> if they can hide. <laughs> oh. Very generous. Wow, Jeremy, thank you. Hi, Tom and Ben. You designed me a tattoo five years ago. It looks good, but people think a toddler drew it. Also, I made some Gasland stuff. <laughs> this link had better have a picture of your fucking amazing tattoo. No, I think I'd met them at some convention, maybe like an insomnia or something like that. Mm -hmm. And we did like a signing and they asked me to draw a picture. And then I think when uh, you were at Yogcon, they were like, oh, well, do, you, do you like my tattoo? And like, I didn't remember drawing the picture, but I was like, that looks a lot like my style of drawing. <laughs> and they were like, you drew this. And I was like, <laughs> what? Uh, so I do remember the, oh. if it's that, if it's something else, holy moly's. Um, How many tattoos have you drawn? Well, at the time, I didn't think I even knew that it was going to be a tattoo. Ah. Uh, I think they just were like, can you do me like a Swindled you. And got free tattoo art Tattoo done. art's expensive, yeah. man. You got conned. What the heck? They stole your labor. Oh, my God. Um, it's time to seize the means of production. Yeah, I can turn up and, like, skin you. Skin that bit. <laughs> that belonged to Tom now. Mm. Delicious. Yeah. Right, we gotta get out. Get out of here. Uh, right, let's do it. Press the boot on. Uh, goodbye, everybody.